what is up guys in this video i'm going to be running through the basic tips and tricks on how to improve your shotgun aim like aimbot but with that being said let's come to the video this course was created by a guy named Selage. he's a fortnite youtuber who also makes fortnite aim courses go through the first path this is where we're going to be getting the shotguns all you have to do is edit, place your cursor, and target the bots and landers every step of the way in the course. And also guys, if you don't know how to edit, I made a video in depth, so click on the top right corner, an eye icon, to check it out. So the tips you're going to be going into today are 1. Improve your accuracy to make your shot count. 2. Train your cursor on enemies. 3. Predict your enemies' movements. 4. Shoot at an angle. And 5. Adjust your mouse settings. Aiming depends on how much you can improve your accuracy. This is the player's ability to successfully land shots in Fortnite. The shotgun is the most natural weapon and I am going to give you the tips on how you can use a shotgun like Inbox. Remember that when you enter in your enemy's box, you have to make your shots count. Don't just say okay let me try and run away and let me just try and shoot randomly. What I'm trying to say is, make sure you place your cross here on your enemy and take your shots. It's better when you actually get the enemy and take only 2 shots, then take 10 shots and get nothing. Trust me guys when I say this. The next course was invented by a guy named Don Woozy underscore BTW, who is a Fortnite pro. This is where we're going to be getting our shotguns. Tip number 2 is train your cross here on enemies. Tracking the person's movement horizontally while aiming at the center of the body. Even if your enemy is jumping, your crosshair will land on his body. Always crouch and move sideways to avoid headshots. People jump to avoid the enemy shots but in actual sense, you're actually reducing your accuracy. Basically the point is to actually move sideways so you can actually place your crosshair and get the enemy. Because most of the time when you're jumping, you tend to be moving and your accuracy is going to be low. This part, you're making your accuracy for the enemy actually easier to get. Tip number three is predict the enemy's movement. This is basically trying to predict where the player is going to be heading. Position your crosshair on the direction the enemy is running to. Set your crosshair in front of them and shoot when you cross your sight. If the enemy moves, you go for the flick shot. Always trying to flick your shots because most of the times when you're just aiming straight, the enemy is going to keep moving and just have to flick your shots. This course is a fix with bots of high school level that will serve as the enemies and also floating lanterns in every angle of the course. You see guys, predicting the enemy's movement is the key thing. Basically, if you can predict the enemy's movement, you can literally get your shots right. So all you have to do is follow the enemy. Most of the times when you're using things like um, the AR or the SMG, most people will just be firing and they actually look at the enemy as you move. So basically, the shotgun doesn't have rapid fire. So all you have to do is make sure you get your shots and fool the enemy. The moment your crosshair places straight on the enemy's body, you click. That's how it works. Tip number four is shoot at an angle. When coming to close combat at an angle, don't panic, keep your cool and aim for the enemy's body with your shotgun. Most players usually try to jump and try to panic and they usually die or get a little bit the player. But basically what I'm trying to say here is you aim for an angle and you shoot. Don't always try to panic and just start building all around. When there are times for you actually try and aim, you have to aim your shot. It's easy, just place your crosshair on top of the player's body or head and take your shot. Tip number 5 is adjust your mouse settings. The first thing you're going to do in in-game is to adjust your mouse settings and to find out what speed is most comfortable for you. Just try to basically know what suits you best, what makes your aiming actually easier for you to actually get your shot. And that's it guys. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite tips and tricks to become a Fortnite pro player. And help me get a 300 subscribers. And let me know in the comment section below which kind of video should I be making for you guys. Stay tuned.